While smartphone cameras have improved significantly over just the past few years, traditional cameras have stagnated and are beginning to look outdated. Looks aside, smartphone cameras have exceeded even the most expensive DSLRs in many areas with a combination of superior software and faster processors, enabling the smartphone camera to essentially cut corners wherever it wants to improve the resulting image. This is called computational photography. A DSLR sensor is 36 millimeters by 24 millimeters, while an average smartphone sensor is 5.6 millimeters by 4.2 millimeters. This means the DSLR sensor is physically speaking, 36.7 times bigger in surface area. Shouldn't the immense size difference mean that the DSLR is 36.7 times better at taking photos? As this used to be true, modern smartphones compete on an even playing field with DSLRs with the help of, you guessed it, computational photography. It's about time to introduce computational photography to DSLRs, and this is how I would do it. The cable transfers data from the massive sensor of the DSLR to the image processor of the smartphone where the computational photography AI magic happens. Of course, this complex process is masked by a simplistic app that streamlines the user experience. Integration takes out the need for SD cards. Photos go straight to the camera roll of the phone and thus the cloud. Functionalities native to the phone such as night mode, which removes the need for tripods completely, will now be available. The DSLR can only reach its full potential with the help of the modern smartphone, allowing professionals to take better photos while satisfying the average consumer with ease of use and convenience.